Hey everyone. Um, <laughs> don't mind my deep voice. I haven't talked to anyone yet today, so uh, you get to deal with my morning voice. Um, and yes, I slept in late, so don't judge me. I was up late. <laughs> um, anywho, people have been begging for, not begging, but um, asking for another update video, um, update photos. Um, I decided finally today would be the day I would do it. I've been, for some reason, just putting it off. I don't know why. It just has happened. Um, anywho, today is... I think Tuesday, so in two days, um, it marks the start of my eighth week since surgery. So I had surgery August 18th, 2020. Um, today, I got on the scale and I officially hit 280 on my scale, which means um, since the highest I weighed back in June, which on my scale was 331, um, the doctor's scale said 337, but there's been a difference there the whole time. Um, so I'm officially down 50 pounds. Um, as of this morning, um, it's been a long road. I'm not going to lie. It's been difficult. Um, some days have been really easy. Some days have not. Um, I had like a three week stall. Um, those happened. They happen regular. Um, come to find out I wasn't eating enough protein. Um, and then I started to throw exercise in there. So with both of those, I just, my body was running on nothing essentially. Um, so my body was holding on to everything I did eat. So, good news is the stall was broken this week. Um, things are starting to move again, so I'm super thankful for that. Um, slow progress, but that's associated with my polycystic ovary syndrome, which I knew would happen. Um, I've had that in my head the whole time. I knew I was doing this, so not too shocked by it, um, but I am pleased with the 50-pound weight loss. Um, I'm already dressed for the day, I mean, clearly, or else I wouldn't be on video. Um, but just a few changes, clearly. Um, I'm sure you guys can see my face has slimmed down quite a bit. Um, and this is weird for me. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. But, like, I've never... My collarbones aren't sticking out yet. That will happen, supposedly. Um, but, like, look, I've lost enough in my neck to where you can see all of that. And I have a jawline. Um, I'm pretty stoked on those changes. Um, can't wait for a little bit more to slim down. But I'm not a beggar. It's not going to be a chooser, you know? Um, but this is, um, my full body. Um, I've lost a lot here, um, before I wouldn't ever tuck my shirts because I was so paranoid about my belly. Um, so I'm getting better there. Um, but this is my view here. Of course, these pants are a bit tight, so I do, or loose, apologize about that. Um, but there are definitely are changes happening. Um, I mean, 50 pounds has to come from somewhere, right? Um, some of the things I haven't talked about, um, or I didn't do a video on at all, um, was post-op. <laughs> um, part of it, I was not, I was on drugs. Um, I was on narcotic pain relievers, so obviously I couldn't be held accountable for the words that were coming out of my mouth for a lot of that. Um, and I was just in pain and not feeling great. And who wants to see <laughs> my incisions on video? You know, I guess I can give a trigger warning and just say, if, if you don't like it, then look away. But um, I withheld from that. I struggled. Um, I was had some level of pain on either my left or my right side almost four weeks. Um, so that was, that was fun to deal with. Um, I had my parents up here taking care of me the first week and a half. They were amazing. I am so blessed to have them in my life and for them to come up and support me. Um, even though they didn't necessarily agree with the surgery, they were here. They took care of me. Um, so thankful for them. Um, I owe them the world and I plan to give that to them. Um, I have had people come in and check in on me, um, calls, texts, postcards. Um, it's been amazing the support I've had. Um, it's been a tough journey, uh, learning how to eat different, how to um, quiet the, the head hunger versus like my physical hunger, um, not being able to give in to cravings. Um, that's been huge. You know, I didn't get fat for no reason. This girl likes some donuts and I can't have donuts. Um, I should never have donuts again. Um, you know, the full fat kind, like I just shouldn't, I shouldn't start those again. Um, it's been difficult to, to miss some of those foods that I have 
grown so comfortable with and grown an attachment to. Um, learning to attach to other things and work on other things mentally has been a challenge, but it's been so rewarding. Um, I, with Alpha surgery, I don't think I would be where I am today. Um, of course, I don't think I'd be down 50 pounds in like two months. I wouldn't be where I'm at mentally. Um, this, this year has been rough. Um, I haven't given a whole lot of detail on that, but um, I had a lot to overcome and a lot to process, um, especially through the summertime. Um, but with going to therapy, with this surgery, with seeing myself change and recognizing myself in the mirror, um, it's been easier to make that switch mentally to realize that food doesn't need to be a crutch anymore. Food can be something that fuels my body and makes me feel good and gives me the energy I need to get throughout my day and my workouts. And that's all I need it for. I don't need it to make me feel better when I'm sad. I don't need it to be there when days and weeks and months are rough. And the the best part of, of this surgery, God, I'm, sometimes I just cry, I'm sorry. Um, I'm finding myself, um, I'm finding how to love myself. And that has been a long time coming. It's been probably 2013, 2014 since I truly saw myself in a mirror and recognized myself. Now, I've learned a lot in those six years. I've gone through a lot in those six years. There have been ups and downs in those six years. But through all of the one thing that was consistent is I didn't see myself in the mirror. I didn't, I could look in the mirror and not know who was looking back at me. And that was rough to have that be my day in and day out to put on clothes just to cover my body and try not to be seen. But um, I have a different life now and it's just going to get better and better as time goes on, as I continue to work with my therapist, as I continue to discover who I am and who I want to be. And as I heal myself physically um, and find a body that, that works for me and the things that I want to do. Um, but yeah, that's where things have been. Um, sorry the video is so long. The, the last thing I figured I would show you, I don't know if you really want to see, um, but are the scars from my stomach. They're nothing too bad, um, but this is... This is where they're at. So this scar here, which is my biggest, this is where the internal drain is and what they call the internal stitch um, that we often feel um, so much pain from. Um, and unfortunately, something I didn't talk about, you'll see all these additional scars around it. Um, I have a, an allergic reaction to some adhesive tapes. Well, I don't know which ones cause it until unfortunately it's on me. So band-aids, medical tapes, it, it's a shoot, like I don't, it's a crap shoot. I don't know if I'm gonna have a reaction until it's on me and I start the reaction. Unfortunately, that's what happened um, is I was allergic to the first adhesive. And then when they took the staples out the week after my surgery, I was allergic, majorly, majorly allergic to the Steri strips. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> but then there's this one, this is where the, Outternal, outternal, yes, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, the external um, drain was that they took out before I came home. There's a teeny tiny one right here. There's one right under my belly button. Um, it's not too bad. Is that under? It's over, y'all. My morning, it's something. And then there's this one, and then number six is down here. Um, so I do have scar cream I'm going to to put on there, but I'm not too worried because eventually... Um, I will have to have skin removal surgery, um, probably about a year and a half-ish, maybe, hopefully. Um, but anyways, I'm on the up and up. I'm feeling great. Um, I am technically down a shirt size, um, if I can convince myself that I'm comfortable wearing it all the time. Um, pants are fitting looser and looser. I, it's just, it's rolling, y'all. Um, thanks for asking for the update. I hope this video didn't take up too much of your morning, but um, I love you all for the support. 
I appreciate you wanting to see photos and video of my journey. Um, I'll be more consistent <laughs> in uploading now that I'm actually feeling really well. Um, but yeah, I love you all. Have a great Sunday.